Hey there and welcome to this quick video showing you how to install brushes into Photoshop. Alright guys, it's time to install a custom brush into Photoshop. So each of our custom brushes comes with a sample image and this is the sample image for the smoke and fog brush. So let's go ahead and get the brush into Photoshop. We're going to go in here to edit and down to presets and over here to our preset manager. Now this is where you can load all kinds of different assets including swatches and styles and contours and tools, things like that. So we're going to click here on brushes. Now within your preset manager, we're on brushes. Let's go to our load screen. There we go. And go ahead and navigate to your brush. In this case, I'm going to click on the Flurn Smoke and Fog dot ABR. That let us, lets us know that it's a Photoshop brush. Okay, now I'll just hit open and it's going to simply add it to the very end of our list. So if I hover right over there, you're going to see it says Flurn Smoke and Fog, which is fun. Now in this same dialog, you can actually click and drag this up to the very top and it's going to put it as your first brush. Now I've already done this a couple times, so I'm going to hold Alt or Option and just get rid of a couple duplicates that I have here. Boop, gone away. So now my Flurn Smoke and Fog, let's just hover over there. Yep, looks good. It's the very first brush on my list. So I'm going to hit Done here and that's it. The brush is in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to click on my brush tool here. Then we want to right click and go to our very first one. Okay, and if we hover over there, we can see it's this same brush, Flurn, Smoke, and Fog. All right, so that's it as far as installing our brushes. It really couldn't be easier. So now let's go in. We're just going to show you a quick video on how to actually use this brush. So the Flurn, Smoke, and Fog brush is one of my favorites. Now keep in mind, you can make your brush larger and smaller. It's a totally regular brush. We're going to create a little bit of fog in this image. So I'm on a new layer. I'm going to use my brush tool and hold Alt or Option to sample this color here. We're going to sample that color and I'm going to simply start painting in just a little bit with my brush. And the key here is to use a low flow. Okay, in this case I'm using a flow of about 30%. Now, because this is smoke, I kind of just want this to lighten things. I don't want it to darken anything. So I'm going to change my blend mode from normal down to lighten. There we go. That looks pretty good there. You can even just change it back to normal and just lower your opacity. Now, another cool thing that you can do is you can actually load these custom brushes into your eraser tool as well. And in the terms of the smoke and frog brush, I highly recommend doing that. So let's click E for the eraser tool. You can see it's just a regular soft round eraser. Now it's not going to look that great. It's, it's going to look kind of fake. But if I right click on my eraser tool and go to my smoke and frog brush, there we go. Then I can actually erase out my fog with fog. So it's just going to add even more texture to my fog brush, which is really, really fun. And there we go. We're erasing it out with that fog brush. And this is really the key to making it look real. Now let's create another layer in here. I'm going to just grab a lighter color and we're just going to kind of paint this in here. There we go. A little bit of smoke and fog kind of coming out there. We'll make our brush a little bit larger and you can see it just kind of like fades in really nice and beautifully. There we go. Kind of coming out there and then E for the eraser tool and we'll just erase this away just a couple little spots there. That's just going to help fill it in nice and beautifully there. All right, let's go ahead and erase this too. So my suggestion when using this brush in particular is to use a relatively low flow and that's going to help you build up your effect in Photoshop. So you can see incredibly quickly we were able to add more smoke and fog into our images. Simply sample the color you want and paint it and then use the eraser tool also with the same brush and just erase it away for more texture. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. Enjoy your Photoshop brushes. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.